So, we're gonna get started. I have my oil heating on the stove and I pre So we got those all breaded up, ready Brown. to go on each side. that off, then I wipe down with the olive oil. So I'm gonna put them all in this baking dish here. I'll be right back. Okay, so it's time to take, take out, out the oven. Hi everyone. Welcome to the Pafford Kitchen again. Today I'm starting to do our meal preps for the week and I am going to do a chicken parmesan today. I actually started last night with soaking my chicken breast in egg, parsley, garlic, and salt and pepper overnight to give it more flavor. Autumn wants to come up and say hello to everyone. Say hi, Autumn. Say hello. Yes. Yeah. So we are going to go step by step with on how to make chicken parmesan. So for this recipe, what you're gonna need for the chicken is two large eggs, one tablespoon of mixed garlic, two tablespoons of chopped parsley, salt and pepper to season, chicken breasts, regular bread crumbs, and a half a cup, that's a one cup of bread crumbs, and a half a cup of bread crumbs Italian style, Parmesan cheese, and onion powder, and olive oil for frying. So we're gonna get started. So let's turn you down so you can see everything. Like I said, I had soaked my chicken breasts overnight. So they look pretty good. Should be good and seasoned. I had flipped them this morning, so they should be pretty good. I have my oil heating on the stove and I preheated my oven to 430 degrees. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take the chicken and bread them in the breadcrumbs. Let me get a fork out. And I took my chicken breasts and I halved them. I just took a knife and went straight down the middle and just halved it. You want to make sure that you coat your chicken breast really well. And I got four pieces of chicken breasts here. So it was actually two chicken breasts cut in half. And I've got my oil heating up also, so it will be ready to go. Okay, 
Okay, so we got those all breaded up, ready to go. So now we can just put this to the side. Okay, so we're gonna take these chicken breasts, we're gonna put them in the pan, and we're going to fry them on each side for about four minutes. I put about two tablespoons of olive oil in the pan. Okay, so I've got these fried, so I'm going to take them out, look how pretty they look. I'm going to put them on a paper towel for right now, just to catch some of the grease. Okay. My pan out of the way, turn that off. Now, I have my bacon dish here that I wipe down with the olive oil. So, let's turn y'all this way. We can see everything on this side. So, I'm going to put them all in this bacon dish here. Lay them out. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some um, spaghetti sauce on top. Just a little bit per one. And then put my mozzarella cheese and my parsley and onion powder on. So, what I do not use in the spaghetti sauce, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and put it back in the refrigerator. All I did was just get regular ragu, traditional flavor.
Okay. All right, so I got them pretty well covered, as you can see. So now I'm going to take my Italian cheese and put it on top. I said the cheese word in front of Autumn. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> this is a very, very simple, simple, simple recipe. It does not take long to make it all. So I'm going to do my parsley flakes. On top of this, okay. Now I've got my onion powder. I'm going to sprinkle on top of that. I'm going to take Parmesan cheese and sprinkle just a little bit on there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and put it in the oven for, I think it's 20, 25 minutes at 430 degrees. So I'll be right back. Okay, so it's time to take out the chicken parmesan. So let's get it out the oven. I did 25 minutes at 430 degrees. Take a look at this, y'all. Look at how beautifully that turned out. Now it will cool off, and then I will put it up in the fridge and containers for meals for the week. And whenever we decide that we want this, then I'll take and cook my linguine noodles and serve it on top of that with maybe a little steamed broccoli or some sort of steamed vegetables with it. So, if you liked my video, make sure you like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, give me some thumbs up. From my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy. Bye. Stay blessed.